Okay, YouTube, this is a continuation of the last video, and we've got our new belt on, a brand new belt, so I can show you how this works. Now, before any of my knife maker buddies say uh, you should use a uh, ceramic belt or you should use this belt, I tried them both, and it really doesn't make a lot of difference. They seem to both dull just about as quickly, so. Uh, this will give a good example of what's going to happen. Now, I'd like you to, as I grind this, pay attention to the spark pattern underneath it, the, mostly the volume that you're going to see. And you're going to see that after about four passes, or maybe just a few more, there's not a whole lot left in the way of, of real aggressive grit, real aggressive sharpening on this thing. So let me get a mask on here and we will have at it. If you um, are a knife maker and uh, you grind without a respirator, you're a fool, and you do not need to be grinding knives or anything else. Um, it's just, just nuts. Don't do it. And here we go.
Okay. Let's see how much uh, damage we've done. Let me make sure I didn't move the camera here. This belt is already pretty well rounded off at this point. Um, I'm getting pretty close now to um, to what I want. I've got to uh, take a lot more off this back area on both sides and then come down here and blend it in. But it's doing um, doing quite a bit better. I do like this dual setup. Um, I think this is going to work great. So I'm going to suit back up here and we're going to do a little blending down here on the bottom now on the felt even though it's premature just to see how it goes. you to note something here on this SM100. Um, this is a 36 grit belt and as you saw we start out with a brand new belt and I don't know how well you can see that but I can see my finger in that and if I run my thumbnail across it that's smooth. That's how much it is knocked off. The, if you do this on a new one of these you'll take the end of your finger off. Look, nothing. Um, so I will uh, keep this belt for profiling or for initial grinding on, on uh, unannealed, or excuse me, annealed steel, uh, something like 01 or something that I haven't had tempered. This dual idea, Mike, this, this is it. This is a way to do it. Love it. Um, you can either try it on yours now or your new one or... You can try this one when you get here in a couple weeks for the blade show. Uh, I have uh, another house full for the blade show. And I'm uh, going to have uh, most of the folks that are somebody in my little corner of the knife world with a couple exceptions. And um, we're going to have a bunch of people. So I'm going to try to finish this today, get an actual edge on it. And we'll try to do a cutting video on it. I've got uh, uh, a very important young client. And I know that one of the uh, 
the people that are that are watching this video will know exactly who I'm talking about and um, she kind of takes precedence over a lot of stuff uh, my wife's sister had surgery and we have her here right now for um, you know until for a few days until she can get better and I'm also trying to get ready for the blade show but um, to to my very special client don't worry uh, I'm working on your knife I'm gonna try to knock it out as fast as possible and there's a surprise coming with it so I I don't think you'll mind waiting on it once you get it or at least I hope not but anyway I will still try to get work this in and because um, I'm really really anxious to uh, see how this stuff does and uh, uh, Gavco and McCullen, Jay and Kylie uh, I d dispatched uh, a piece of this to each of them yesterday that uh, again that was not my doing that was Cliff, Cliff Stamp that sent this out and you may notice this gold color on the back that's the way the, the steel was delivered so obviously it can be anodized I'm sure that's from the heat treat and uh, it's, it's some really really neat stuff with neat characteristics and when we go into the cutting demos I'll uh, try to explain what all that is but you take it easy YouTube and we'll talk to you later